Complete combustion of benzene, that's C6H6. Complete combustion is always the same. You start with your reactant, that's C6H6. I know benzene is a liquid personally. And combustion means you're reacting with gas phase oxygen, that's O2. What do you get? Well, for complete combustion, it's always the same. It's carbon dioxide and then the fully oxidized form of hydrogen, which is water, H2O. Burning things makes heat, so I think it's gonna be gas phase water. That's gas, yeah. Okay, this is my unbalanced complete combustion. If you just needed unbalanced, you're done. Otherwise, stick around. I'm gonna rock your world with some balancing here. Six carbons here, I need six carbons here. All right. Six hydrogens here, I need six hydrogens here, but they come in packs of two, so I only need three of those. Now that's 12 oxygens here and three, which makes 15 oxygens on the right. How many pairs is that? Well, it's technically 7.5. I like doing the 15 that I need divided by two for the fact that they're paired off in O2s. This is technically balanced, one, 15 over two, or 7.5, six, and three. But if your teacher doesn't let you use fractions or decimals, you just double all those coefficients. Two benzenes gives me 12 carbons. And 12 hydrogens, that's six pairs. Now I have 24 and six is 30 oxygens, that's 15 pairs. Oh look, everything just doubled with these new coefficients that I put in a different color for you. Your complete combustion is two benzenes and 15 O2s makes 12 carbon dioxide and six waters. It's complete because you don't have other byproducts like carbon monoxide or soot. That's it, done. Best of luck.